I don't want to touch that. I think you better call the old bill. Don't panic. Then they just call the police. Yeah. There must be a million dollars there. The discovery changes everything. I know this is an obvious thing to say, but it is obviously a crime scene. Don't touch anything fingerprint-wise. Uh, yeah, I wonder if you can. I'm High Court Enforcement. I've just gained access to a property, and within the property is a box full of dollar bills. I'd be grateful if someone could get here a bit lively. I don't understand what the white powder is, though. I would say there was $8.5 million there of mixed denomination. Is that what it said? What? Yeah. Do not expose parked note to the light. Observe the presence of concentrated acting powder for good colour separation. Eight and a half million dollars. Will the police come in quickly or just take Well, I did say to him, I said, I'd rather you came a bit lively. The team have been stopped in their tracks. All Paul and Steve can do is hope the police arrive quickly, in case the owner of the eight and a half million dollars turns up. But ten minutes later, the lift bell sounds. Hi there. Uh, just to know, we're High Court Enforcement, and we've repossessed the property today, and everything in it. I'm not the main tenant. I'm just a student. Okay. So. Well, what I'm going to say to you is now that you're not allowed into the property at all. If you want to take that up with us, you can talk to the police. Can I be allowed to no. get my books? And all? Nothing at all just yet. I need to call him. I need to let him know. All this. By all means, let him know. Give him a call. Yeah. Can you just Hello. keep an eye on the entrance? Yes. Uh, um, the tenant's just come back, so you've got an issue now, so I'll call you back later. Can we ring the office, see where they are? Please, please. I'd like someone here sooner rather than later. The circumstances have changed. Uh, the tenants have arrived back and we need your boys here. They've taken over the, um, the apartment. Unsure if he's connected to the money, and with the flat now a crime scene, Paul and Steve need to detain the man any way they can. I'm a student. I need to do you want to see my ID and all that. I need to go to school today. Can I so what is going to stop that? Can I stop you there? You're not going to school today. You're going nowhere. You're effectively under arrest as of now. No phone calls either. Paul is an ex-CID officer. His police training kicks in. <clears throat> He's got another one. Thank you. The man is starting to get anxious. Paul and Steve have no idea who else might turn up or what the man might do next. There's no sign of the police. Good morning. 40 minutes after the original phone call, the police finally turn up. Game possession, room's empty. This one was extra locked. Parcel in the suitcase, opened it. Yeah. That's it. These are his phones. Okay. His colleague is desperately trying to call him. Probably made about 30 calls in yeah. the last two minutes. Are you holding on to that, are you? Yeah. Right, no issue. Just keep your hands out your pocket for the time being, okay? Um. Right, young man, what's the score of all that cash in there, mate? What? What's the score of all the money in that box? That is not my room. If you ask, then it's locked, then they care. You don't know anything of it? Yeah. That is your premises. Yeah. Yeah, but I, don't, I don't get in his room, really. I don't, I don't get that. The man claims the locked bedroom belongs to another tenant, and he knows nothing about the money. It's a crime scene now, mate. If uh, we could just uh, move back for us out the front, front door. We're out the flat, so it's now their property, as such. And the police are now throwing us out, and there'll be lots of other people coming down as well. So, uh... Yeah. 
The man is arrested and the police have a new case. But Paul and Steve still haven't recovered the eight and a half thousand pound debt. The chances of recovering the money in my inexperienced view. Yeah. Waste of time. 